think about two things associated with protecting data. One is the configuration of the infrastructure that's actually hosting the data. How do you protect for that? And then the identity of users and systems that have access to the data. So that's how I look at this world. And eventually, of course, you need to have a good control around you know, what, where the data is, visibility, data classification, all of that. But if that's not tied to the configuration of the infrastructure that's hosting it and the identity of the systems and processes that are accessing the data, it's of no use. So holistically, that's how I look at it from a risk landscape perspective, yeah. So if I can be provocative, I think data security is the wrong way to frame the problem in that every time you give me a data security like shortcoming, it's an operational failure or a security control failure. And so trying to address it through a data security lens, I think is the wrong way to approach it. And so every, every time this week, we've been meeting with a lot of companies. And when we say, oh, this is like a data security company, and I just, I don't like the framing. I, I think it's counterproductive. So one opinion. Love the provocation. <laughs> you know, from a data perspective, first of all, you got to remember data is always the goal for the attacker. So, I mean, everything else is a vector to get to the data. So, I mean, data is certainly the most important thing that, you know, we're all trying to protect, but it's also something that you tend to overlook the most. To, to the other question we were saying about like attack vectors, how many people really truly in the operator standpoint understand how data pipelines work these days? Because now we've started to, you know, off, offshore the, comp uh, and I'm using that term loosely, but you know, how, you know, what Datadog and uh, um, Databricks and uh, Snowflake have done, how many people understand how those data flows work to get things into a pipeline? And then how that data is used and whether or not it's going into an AI or an ML model or is it doing something different that, that you do? And then plus you have so many different platforms as you're talking about is like, do people like view Slack is where like sensitive data is? They should, but in many cases they don't. But it, as you say, it's a, it's a, it's a abstinence question about like how far do you go? But your first definition is, is what is sensitive data? And that's pretty much everything.